Okay, so we're gonna make some French curlers. Uh, and to do that, first I like to set up my sheet. Uh, this is parchment paper. And I'm gonna cut it into squares, the size that I want my donuts to be. So you can just uh, pull parchment paper apart or you can cut it both ways work. never done this all even so it's not that uh, that serious if you use your nails get a nice part to cut let's see if I can do this with all these papers shockingly well. I'm going to try and do that again. I have a bunch of little squares. I'm gonna spray my sheet, sheet tray, and I'm just doing that so that when I go to spray these, they don't fly everywhere. It's mostly just to keep them down. And then I'm going to spray all these. See, they're flying up a little bit, even with the uh, spray on the bottom of the pan. All right, and now I'm ready to pipe off. So we're gonna make French curlers. Um, and we're just gonna get our eggs all ready. This recipe calls for, um, well, the recipe calls for three eggs. We're gonna double it, so it's gonna be six eggs. calls for two egg whites, but for doubling it, we're going to do four egg whites. Um, now when it comes to French curlers, um, the recipe is pretty much a shoe paste, which would be the same thing as um, an eclair or a cream puff, uh, slightly changed. And when you're doing this, uh, how much egg that you add in depends on how much uh, liquid that you're going to cook out of it um, in a little bit. You'll see. Um, I'll show you the, the point I'm talking about. Uh, you don't want it to be too wet, uh, but you do have to add a fair amount of liquid. It's going to make it nice and light and fluffy and poof. And then I'm going to get my water. And I'm going to add four teaspoons of sugar to be a tablespoon and a teaspoon and then a quarter teaspoon of salt and I want six ounces of butter. See that's eight ounces. This should be six. Check that. Six point four, I was off. Six. Great. Now we're just gonna cut that down. If you leave it whole, it's gonna be it's gonna take longer to melt. You want this to melt and boil evenly. Butter, salt, water, 
thing going on here. And I got my flower ready right here. And I'm just gonna turn on, turn this all the way up to high for now. Uh, and then you're gonna wait until this comes to a rolling boil and all of the butter is melted. Great, so it's gotten to a point where we're at a full rolling boil. I'm gonna turn the heat down just a little bit and add in my flour. And I'm going to just keep mixing this until A, all of the flour is incorporated. Oop, that's a little hot, I'm gonna turn that down even more. So all the flour needs to be incorporated and I'm gonna start seeing um, a film, like a dry film on the bottom. I'm gonna keep on stirring until that happens. And this is a bit of a workout. Cause it's a very thick dough. So this might be a thing to do with like two people. I have a nice film going. Got my flour worked out, except for that one little piece that I'm gonna get. There it is. So I'm gonna take this over to my stand mixer. Put it right in the bowl. And I'm gonna turn this on and let it cool down a little bit before I add my eggs. I'm gonna start adding in these eggs. Um, clearly it's not like completely cool. Um, I don't know if it needs to be, but this is the way I do things, so. Um, and this is the point where I would start adding the eggs. Um, make sure that it's going at a pretty high speed. Um, at the same time, uh, these eggs sometimes do fly out, especially if you start doing a larger batch. Um, so yeah, just uh, let them incorporate one at a time. So at this point you can see my dough is um, kind of rough looking, it's not really shiny yet, uh, and I'm going to start adding my egg whites. Okay. I'm just going to get this all incorporated, give it one last mix, you can see it's nice and stretchy and shiny. Just need to get all the edges and the bottom all mixed in. We're ready to go. Clean this off. Um, something that uh, is really important when you're baking is getting things ready. So having everything measured out, having um, I have my uh, my oil all heated up and ready to go. I have a tray with um, paper towels lined on it, and I already have my bag ready to go with the tip in it. And 
I have my little squares ready to go. everything is ready, uh, you're ready. Just keep going. Uh, some fill in this bag. Not all the way full because it's just going to be too full. I'm going to squeeze from the top. Give a little twist. I'm going to pipe a little out there. So you can see that it's, it's holding its shape. It's not like flopping in. If it doesn't hold its shape, it's too wet. And now I'm just going to make little circles. That's going to be our tester donut. Okay, so I have my oil. It's around 350 degrees. Um, going to take my little misshapen donut here and I'm going to pop them right in. It's oh, ready to go. If they're a little misshapen, you can kind of fix that up maybe a little bit at the beginning here. Make it a little more circular, if you care. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna start adding them in. Um, when you add them in, be very careful not to do it from up here. You wanna do it as low as possible without actually sticking your fingers in the grease. So, and you can stick the paper in the grease. Um, sometimes, like this one looks like it's gonna be stuck to the paper. So you can just put the whole thing in there and it'll come right off. Take your tongs. Yeah. Seven. Um, the thing about frying things is it can be very messy. So uh, always keep things very close so you don't have to go like across a table or across a room with like dripping donuts or dripping tongs. Um, have a lot of paper towels on hand. Um, you could also have a, um, a rack. That's also very nice. Uh, you can see this is starting to poof. It's a nice little poof we got going, so we're gonna flip it. This actually might be a little high for this oil. Oh yeah, that's too high. Turn it down. A nice gentle fry on this. It was not on 350, close to 400. So you'll see they start out kind of flat, but then they'll start poofing and popping like that. You can see this one here is nice and raised. You want that. You want it to do that before you flip it, otherwise it kind of explodes on the other side, and you want the other side to be real pretty. This one looks ready. I give him a flip. We want to make sure that this color is a nice golden brown. Uh, I feel like with this lighting, it's kind of hard to tell, but it's a little too light right now. So I'm going to let it keep going a little bit. If these don't get dark enough or if they don't get crispy enough, they'll just end up a little soggy. Um, if you're eating them right away, they're not going to get soggy. They're going to be delicious. Uh, if you're letting them sit for a couple hours, donuts don't really love to sit at all ever. Um, so you want to make sure that these are nice and crispy if they are going to sit at all. Got a nice golden color on that one. 